The causes of the war are hugely complicated, with the death of the Archduke only setting in motion existing forces. No one nation deserves all the blame. But there's an overriding case that German recklessness contributed more than anything else to make a conflict intended to settle a local score escalate into a European war. And once the fighting and dying started, it became cruelly apparent that a German victory would be a disaster for Europe. In 1914, Germany was by far the most powerful state on the continent, the most advanced society in Europe. Industrially, it was racing ahead of its rivals in every field from pharmaceuticals to automobile design. Socially, it pioneered a welfare state by creating unemployment insurance and old age pensions. German culture was revered across the world. But it became Europe's historic tragedy that the German system of government lagged generations behind everything else in the country. The empire's elected parliament had the largest socialist party in Europe. But while the Reichstag dominated domestic affairs, it was the Kaiser, the so-called Allhighest, Wilhelm II, who still made every key appointment and controlled decisions about war and peace. 